The boys are back in town. Welcome to my latest battle report. I'm running the Death Guard against the Orcs. So here we have a lovely Orky outpost in the middle of a swamp with loads of swamp plants growing up here, there and all over the place. Uh, a perfect place for the Orcs to put a lovely little encampment because that means there's alligators and uh, other things to smack on the head whenever they want to. The battle mat is from urbanmats.com and the Orky terrain that you see is from cromlech.eu. Is it cromlech.eu? It is cromlech.eu. People keep asking me where I get this stuff from. These are various aquarium plants that I've stuck together and stuck them on a base and these are, this is an aquarium gravel and bits from my driveway and bits from the seaside and this stone is from the 500 worlds. Uh, so we'll set up lovely table, the end of all things, my Death Guard Warbound will be rampaging across this battle grid but rampaging even harder will be Da Boys and we're playing 2000 points of Taken hold with chosen battlefields, dawn of war deployment. So there's five primary objectives down on the table and you get five points for each of these that you control up to a maximum of 15 from game turn two onwards. And then we'll be drawing the secondaries from the Leviathan mission deck. And we welcome back to the channel, Woff Boot Poodle. Say hi, Woff Boot Poodle. Hi, Woff Boot Poodle. Can I call you Mr. Woff? Uh, you woof, can, you woof. can call me whatever you like. Poodle. Poodle. <laughs> Let's stick with Poodle. Why have you brought Orcs today? Because Orcs are fun. Orcs are always fun. Um, I've loved them since the early 90s and there's quite a few early 90s models still in this list. You've got some crazy conversions in there. Thank some you. old got lead in there. Lead conversions are not easy. Do you remember when you could use models as a weapon? <laughs> throw them? Yeah, I, that's how I maintain discipline with my ch children. Nice. Let's go and take a look at the Orcs. Okay, 2,000 points of colourful, lovely orcs all over the place and there is a crazy amount of metal in here and I love it. Not two, no two models are the same. So orcs, um, sixes explode in close combat. If you punch me, you punch me harder. And also once per battle they get to declare a wah and that means they get a 5 up and vulnerable save and increase their attacks and their AP? No, strength for the purpose of that combat. Lovely stuff. Would you like to talk us through what you've got? Yes. So um, this is Blood Teeth, my war boss. He um, has a rebuild from this lead fellow. And look at he's, this he's, tiny he's, lead one. Which is, again, a proper um, mash, mesh, max, mash up of lots of lead models. And it was it's quite heavy. But he's too small. He would get beaten up by the modern orc boys. Yes. Which is not appropriate for a war boss. So he got an upscaling okay. um, recently. So he was just for fun. Look at the, him. Look at that. He's all magnetised as well, of course. He's glorious. Apart just now. With his attack squig. Yep, attack squig. Um, he'll get four extra attacks when he charges in when the wire is active. Yes. On top of the plus one attack from the wire itself. So he'll yes. have a boatload of attacks, nine, I think, on the, um, when the wire is in. He's just got a power claw um, shooter. He's got a the enhancement cyborg body because oh. this guy... Well, actually, tell well, me, this guy... Him. This guy was roll, rolled up random bionic bits back in, I think, 1991. Okay. And I rolled up Trax, Cyborg body, and Fuel Injection Implant, which made him an absolute monster. In the yeah. Days. And then I built this specially for him. Okay. So, of course, he's got Trax, he's got Cyborg body, and I'm particularly pleased I managed to find the same um, old lead Gretchen from the back of a War Trax Scorcher to mm. mirror the, the original model. Coming along for the and ride. of course, the, the banners I also read it in a very similar way. That's legendary. Love so it. So much fun. A cyborg body gives him a four up. Four up feeling pain. Yeah. Okay. He'll be leading a unit of ten knobs who are. I've got to point out my friend Kraken's uh, a gift from him. He painted them up. He won this RTLW set of rockers um, in a for a competition to come up with an orc song. And I recommend you, oh, you put into YouTube "Big Gun of Mine." Big Gun of Mine. Look it's at just them. such much so much fun. And yeah, so thank you, Kraken. That was my birthday present a couple of years ago. Yeah, Google. Well, no, YouTube, big gun of mine, two, three minute video. Very funny. Check it out. Well done. Well done, <laughs> you. Look at this. So knobs, brilliant. And then there's yeah, there's a few old school lead models in there as well for fun, just to pad them out to the ten. See, that could be, in a slingshot, you could kill someone <laughs> with that. You could kill someone with that. It's lovely. Um, various characters. We've got a pain boy yes. who gives the unit he's leading a five up feel no pain. Right. And then the little... Um, a medic there once per battle he can resurrect d3 
have his bodyguards. Is he going in with the knobs as well? In, no, he'll go with one of the boys mobs. Right, okay. You can't double team them. It's not like the, no? the, the, the as far as I can tell, you can't have more than one. And some okay. of the things like the, the anyway. In, yeah, in some of the other armies you can yeah. double team, yeah. but orcs, nah. If there's yeah. one big guy around, there's, there's just guy. one big yep. guy around. Right, so I've got a unit of storm boys. Again, yes. an old lead fella here. These are old plastic boys that I stuck glue lids on the back of, Brilliant. which is, frankly, I think how storm boys would attach jet packs to themselves. Just, what, sellotape and glue? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll just to find a jet motor. Hey, if it works and only blows up one out of six times, yep. you're good. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, five looters led by a spanner. Not Again, a custom made, just a big gun. That's a custom mega blaster, we decided. Yeah. Custom mega something. And then five other, four other guns. They'll, they will re-roll ones to hit naturally, and they re-roll all hit rolls if, right. you're, if the target is on an objective, which is quite nice. Let's face it, you're but all it's still, shooting. It's making loud it. noises, making loud noises, but they're a little bit better than average. Yes. I've got four units of boys. Right. Three of them are choppy. Right. And one of them has got the shooty equivalents and a big shooter. Um, I'll put a, a weird boy in with them who's got the power to jump. So they will skulk somewhere in the backfield and right. then look to teleport onto an objective or onto a backfield to achieve something yeah um and so they can jump around every turn if they want to it could do and there's yeah. a risk of it on a, on a roll of a one i'll kill some of my um unit but you know those well, are the, you know, the other boys will find it very funny they will yeah. heads exploding everywhere i like yeah. the fact there are still head explosions from weird yeah. boys that's that's good um i've got a old this is a knob with a wire banner another old lead special yes um he will be in one unit and his ability is that Aside from the army-wide war that can be called, he can declare his own mini war, which affects him and his unit. Yes. And they get all the benefits of the war that battle round. Yes. So this unit can have two units, sorry, two t- battle rounds worth of war. And he, when he's benefiting from the war, he gains a, uh, a the, he gets an OC of five. Brilliant. And also a four up in one. Nice. So, uh Twice per battle, this yeah. unit could have a five up and vulnerable save, extra attacks, and extra thing. Yep. And he plants the flag and goes, starts screaming his head off. None shall pass. They get very excited, yep. and uh, it makes them a bit better. Yep. <laughs> Moving around, we've got three. We've got uh, claws on oh, all the knobs. Claws on all the knobs. Claws on all the knobs. And claws on all the knobs. Even the ones with guitars and lance cannons, which run out of batteries, they're yep. just claws because it's claws. much simpler. Okay. Yeah. Um, then, oh, do you know what? Just remember what? something. But well, this is actually. Goes with this one, and because he's got a, a shooter and a just a combi weapon, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll jiggle that around later. Okay, we've got three um mech guns. So the mech guns are there's a bubble chucker, yes, which is random, yes, very random. You can at least decide what to shoot at after you've rolled what kind of bubble you're blowing. Mm. Um, uh, custom mega blaster, which is the best one, yep, and then a, a smasher gun, which is fun as well. Okay, one of each, one of each, and, and then their grots they hit on fours, yeah, and yeah. then there's Guys, a lot of bowl, um, lead direction yeah. for some of them as well. Just for the move. Oh, blood bowl with the colors of his team. Yep, there is obviously these are his head off. Sons. These are mostly evil sons. There is there's one bad moon knob running around with blood teeth. How did he get in there? Well, he's they're very friendly. He's um, the, the original story from blood teeth, he, he was very much unifying the clans, so he was a, a warlord. He had the blue for the death skulls, the checks for the goths, and he, right. he didn't mind a few bad moons because they were spending the teeth. Yeah, okay, they come up, they rock up, they've got yeah. loads of teeth, you're they've welcome. got loads come of cash. Yeah, he's, he's not and, fussy. Uh, and uh, he obviously likes them, and if no one agrees with him, they get eaten. Yeah, so, simple. Yeah. Um, three old lead war buggies, but they're, today they are war bikes, oh, because of the right size. Beautiful. Don't, don't hit me. Beautiful. Nothing. And this one, again, is the, I'm really proud of this conversion, lead conversion of a the knob from, it was a knob on war bike. Right. And I... It was hellishly difficult, but I'd bend his torso forwards and try and fit him on here. Do you remember doing conversions back in the day with hacksaws into lead? That was what I was doing here. and it was... Brilliant. <laughs> see, these days, I do see the odd comment every now and then, oh, these monopod kits from Games Workshop are terrible. You have to do extra work. <laughs> and like, they have no idea. Back the in the pain day. Yeah, fingers. With, <laughs> yeah, with drill bits and saws and things yeah. like that and hammers and chisels and dynamite sometimes to <laughs> blow bits off of models. I, the number of injuries. I've got still got scars on thumbs and fingers from that. Dude, like, I've the, got on that yeah. one there. There's yeah. uh, that scar there. That is a Land Raider <laughs> scar. That was four stitches. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, well, what else we okay. got? Where, We've where got again? four um, buggies, one of each type. So one of each, a, lovely. Um, a, uh, okay. What's this one? This one's the shock dump dragster. Shock dump dragster, so he can teleport around instead of when he advances. Yes. He's got, the, he's got a, a, a three, a hitting on a three plus sniper gun, which is hazardous, which is quite tasty, and a load of rockets. So he, unlike most orc shooting, actually has a chance of hitting stuff. That and, guy, just that guy. But he could also be useful for jumping around to achieve objectives yeah. and getting places. This is the custom booster blaster. Yes. He's got kind of flamers and things, but he's also got this rivet cannon, mm. which will make a loud noise, but if it hits you, mm. you'll be minus one to hit for the round. Brilliant. Which is quite tasty. The um, um, Megatrack Scrapjet has is, is, is got quite a lot of rockets yes. making loud noises. And also when he charges you, his drill can cause mortal wounds on the charge. And you combine that with tank shock. Yep. And then you get mortal wounds from the drill, mortal wounds for tank shocking. This one is one of the better ones. Yeah, so. it is. Um, and then the Rucker Truck Squig Buggy. Lovely Best name. Best name ever. And he's got two things. He's got an indirect fire um, ability on his squig launcher. Right. Which gets plus one to hit against infantry, kind of negating that minus one for the indirect fire. Yep. But he's still walk shooting. Yep. And he's also got the ability, he's got a little, little squig mine on him. Cool. And that's right, it's magnetised. Nice. And that... Uh, once per battle, at the start of any phase, one enemy unit within three inches takes D6 mortal wounds oh. on a four-up. Oh. So it's a bit random. Oh. Which I, I love that old randomness. So of you've yours. got to get the four-up, and yep. then it could be anything from a one to a six mortal wound. Yep. I like it. Random. Got a unit of um, flash gits, led by Captain Jewel Fang, who right. is using Captain Badrock's profile. But okay. Captain Badrock's on a different planet. This is Captain Jewel Fang. This, this unit becomes pretty good at shooting for orcs. So they... They're heavy weapons, so yep. they'll hit on fours if they're stationary. They'll get the, the basic unit gets three shots with their snaz guns, but if they're shooting at the nearest unit, they get four shots, hitting on fours nice. if they're stationary. He, Captain Julfang, will allow them to re-roll all hits um, when they're shooting. So again, yes. that's really ups the thing. The, the volume. There's a lot of volume of fire, and some of it could be accurate. And it's strength six, AP one, damage two, I think. So some of it could be accurate. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good for orc shooting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then I've got a big unit of war bikes led by the um, Death Killer War Trike. Yes. There, there's um, power claw on the knob, and then choppers on all the boys. Basically, and... where you could take power claws, you're taking power claws. With one exception, but I'm... and because he's in there, that means this unit, hit, unit hits on, on twos. twos, and because he's joining those knobs, they yeah. hit on twos. Correct. Knobs are naturally minus one to wound all the time yes. anyway, because yes. they're double hard. Yep. These guys, not minus one to wound, but better hitting. And they can move quicker. And with him in it, they flow on auto six. Auto six advance. So they're deceptively the quick. Off, they can go Remember, these are three bikes as well. Yes. Buggies, bikes. Yes. And three bikes And then well. a truck for the knobs to go in. And a truck. You brought a bit of everything. It's, there's not a lot of anti-armor, but it's just going to swarm you and punch you to death. Yeah. It's your anti-armor is punching me to death. Because yep. I have got a little bit of armor. Well, I've got quite a bit of armor scattered throughout my army. But uh, that means... That just encourages you to get closer and rip bits off and then sellotape it to your body after all this is done. Mind you, it'll be really, really stinky. Some of the Death Guard plates and armours and things. Let's take a look at the Death Guard plates and armours and things. I've got 1990 points worth of Death Guard here. Now, Death Guard, they have sticky objectives. That's one of the things they do. And they have contagions. Uh, and if you get in Contagion's range, minus one toughness. But the Contagion range thing has also been buffed. There's a different couple of choices that you can bring along for Death Guard. One of them is, if you get in Contagion range, not only do you get minus one toughness, but it also puts the enemy weapon skill and ballistic skill down by one. And I'm not bringing that one for two reasons. One, if Orcs get in Contagion range, most of the Orc army will be hitting on sixes. The same as Overwatch. And that just feels bad to me and the second thing is i don't want to drop the orcs weapon skill either in close combat i want orcs to hit like orcs i want them to do glorious death and glorious damage when they go flying in so what i'm going to pick instead is the one that is minus one save so whenever the orcs get in contagion range of me they're going to be minus one toughness and minus one to save what that does it means it increases my damage output whenever i'm shooting at them I should be able to damage them a bit more and we like death and carnage and it doesn't reduce the amount of death and carnage that the orcs can chuck out by reducing their ballistic skill and weapon skills. So that's the one I'm going with. Okay, Poodle? Yep. And it's three inches, then six inches, then nine inches from turn three. And if you get in that range, minus one toughness, minus one armor save, with the exception of Fluffy. 
I've given him the living plague. So if you get in contagion range, of his contagion range is three inches further. So six inches, nine inches, 12 inches. Also, what demon princes on foot do is when I'm in contagion range of him and I'm infantry, I get six, I feel no pain. Mm. And it, it, it is his 10th edition debut. So hopefully he'll do well. He is my warlord and he can target him. He can't join to anything. So you could snipe him out or just punch him in the head or something. But we want to see how he gets on. He's like all the other demon princes and the other codexes, unless he's a, unless except he's a bit tougher. He's toughness 11. So flying up there, doing his thing. I've got a Lord of Contagion. That'll be you joining 10 uh, Blight Lord Terminators. And what he does is they re-roll all hits in close combat. Doesn't matter whether you charge or get charged, just re-rolling hits all the time. I love it. Because one of the things that I really like to do with the Death Guard is get the hits in. They've got a load of plague weapons all over the place. Plague bolters, plague swords. Sixes to hit with plague weapons are lethal, so they auto wound. So re-rolling hits with him makes them chonky as all hell. Then four units of seven plague marines. In each squad there are two heavy plague weapons, a blight launcher and a plasma gun. Blight launcher, plasma gun, two heavy plague weapons. There's a couple of rhinos for them to rock around him. Two plague burst crawlers, two fetid bloat dones, two mephitic blight haulers. They're separate units and one unit of two spawn because had points left over. <laughs> <laughs> this army is deceptively quick, actually, because a lot of the vehicles move 10 or 9. And I've got teleport options with the Blight Lord Terminators, which I'm probably not going to do because you can swarm all over the place. But yeah, it's deceptively quick. You're going to have a chonk in the middle going forward, ready to meet the boys halfway, such as the Demon Prince and the Terminators, honking their way up there. And then the rest is going to be spreading out, trying to contagiorize, that's a word now, the orcs and get their toughness down and saves down and, and pick them apart bit by bit by bit. This should be bloody. This should be fun. This should be very interesting. Let's go on to deployment. We're deployed. The orcs have returned to their encampment after a, a day out hunting alligators and killing stuff in the wider swamp back over there. They've come back to their encampment to find some smelly boys and moving in. This uh, this land, it's full of life and swampiness and green and we want to turn it into Nurgle's garden. And they're like, they've gone all Shrek. Get out of my swamp. And I'd like to tell you exactly what's going on with the boys and where stuff is. But there's there's piles. There's there's a huge pile here. The knobs are in the truck along with the warlord. There is a unit of storm boys yep. dropping down from reserve. They're flying over the battle grid, and there is a unit of ten uh, boys that are going to be sneaky, and they're going to be coming on from strategic reserves on a flank somewhere. Unit of boys over here along with one of the guns, and then what I did was fast stuff on the edges. So rhino. Drone, Mephitic Blight Crawler, and the uh, Spawn down here, because they're quick and they can spin up one way, speed up one way, and quick down here as well. Rinse and repeat. Tanks are holding on to my home field objective, and then there's a big chonkiness in the middle. And remember, his contagion aura is an extra six inch, extra three inches. So everything here, everything that's infantry does get fluffies. Uh, Six up, feel no pain, which is nice. There's also a strat that you can do to put wounds back on characters. It's called Gifts of Decay. And I intend to keep Fluffy alive for the whole of this game. This is his 10th edition debut. Don't let me down. Uh, we need to roll off, however, to see who must go first. Do you want to go first? I think I do, because that gives me better control of when to call the wire. I'd like you to go first as well. Come close to my guns. I'm a very mid-range army. Uh, so after you, sir... And that's a five. You might be going first. This is a four. It is the orcs. They're very, very angry. Orcs turn one. War boss Blood Teeth shouts at his orders, capture the enemy outpost. He's a bit excited that isn't going to happen in turn one. And engage on all fronts. Spread out, lads. Take every quarter of the battle grid. The boys rev their engines and come charging back into their encampment here. They're not engaging on all fronts or capturing the enemy outpost anytime soon. And they've not declared a war yet. They're being sneaky for now. They're getting lining up for later game turns. We have the bikers speeding around this way with the buggies. Stuff staying still in the backfield. You did clear a war with the wire banner here. Many 
Yep. Mini wow over here. So you've got an OC of nine right now camped on that objective. And it does give this unit a five up uh, invulnerable save as well. And we're going to start off with the bubble chucker, which is over here. You rolled because it's random what bubble it chucks out every battle round and you rolled and you got the fat six yeah dense bubble which is anti-tank one an anti-tank one so you're firing at a tank i may as well anti-tank at the tank so that's d3 shots okay uh, so this will be the number of shots just is the one. just the oh, one dear. shot and hits on a grot so four to hit and it hits, it hits. strength 12 versus toughness 10 three to wound uh, <laughs> orky shooting pop the bubble just uh the bubble is popped by the spikes on the Plague Burst Crawler and doesn't melt its hull. So we're coming across to the custom Mega Cannon here, which has got a line of fire down into the Terminator. And this yep. is D6 shots, right? Just D6. Okay. And that's three, three shots. shots. Hitting on Grot. So fours. And we have Once. one hit. Strength? Strength is 12. Okay, wounds on a two. That wounds, wounds. and it's AP really high. AP, so it's not AP two. Getting a little bit of cover, so three up save, and I'm making the save. From the custom Mega Cannon, now we're coming to the Smasher Gun, firing at the same target, another D3 shots into the Terminators, that's three. Force to hit. Nice. Two. Two hits. What's the strength of the Smasher strength Gun? Strength nine. Nice. Toughness six, though. Threes. That One. is a wound. You get a wound through. AP three. Okay, so it's four two. up and vulnerable save. I fail. Ooh. How much damage? It's a flat three. It's going to kill one. Except nice. you've, got, you've got the feel of pain. Oh, I have got the feel of pain. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Fluffy says, do not fall. No, Look at that. Wounds. Two sixes. <laughs> Next down here, we've got a chunk of looters. They're split in fire. Uh, two, of the sh two of the looters can only see this tank. So yep. we're firing this way. They have two shots each and they hit on orc. Well, hitting on sixes, but heavy. So hitting on fives. But because you're next to an objective, I get to reroll everything. Nice. No, okay, so that's help. two hits. What's the strength of loot to death a, guns these days? So five's the wound. One What's the wound? AP? AP1. AP1? That's a save, I think. I think you're two up these days, aren't you? That is a save. I'm good. The other two shots coming in to the Terminators. No rerolls this time. Ooh. Look at that. Yes. A lot of Winter's Head right there. Oh! Wow. Can I these, save that? These dice available. If you email me at winners 40 k at gmail.com, I'll let you know if there's any left. Three to wound the Terminators. We have two wounds into the Terminators. AP. AP1, so AP dash effectively. Uh, oh! How much damage? It's two. Two. Which you could finish off that last one. You've got two. Two Furno Pains. Yes. It does kill one. It does kill one. He's the first victim of Orc Firepower. Then three shots from the custom Mega Blaster from the Spanner. Okay. The same target. Uh, oh, wow. That's good shooting. That is. Three to wounds. That's good wounding. Two wounds. This is AP2. Comes AP1. Threes. No. D6 damage? D6 damage. Did he charge up the gun? Oh, he charged no. up the gun a little bit. Feeling of the pain. One's on one wing remaining. So we've done the long range mech guns and the looters. There's still some more long range here. There's the rivet cannon from the custom booster blaster coming into the same target. Because if you hit them with the rivet gun, throws out such amount of firepower, this, uh, the Terminate unit will be minus one to hit in shooting and melee next round. So it rattles them up. But first, you got to hit. Yep. Orky shooting for the win. And you get two hits through. Wins. And one wound, a wound, AP one, AP dash. I'm okay. But yeah, I'm pops and spots. Yeah, lots of pus erupts amongst the Blight Lord Terminators, and they will be. It'll be harder for them to hit next turn. From one war buggy to another war buggy, the Rucker Truck Swig buggy firing at the Terminators. D six plus six shots, lots of shots. Five. We points. have eleven shots, and it's blast. Nice. So so Number that'll two. be 11, 12, 13 shots. Fives? Uh, plus one because they're infantry. Fours? <laughs> the strength five versus toughness six, right? Yeah, so five to, five to wound. And that's okay, there's four that's wounds. Nice. AP? AP one. AP one, so, I've been taking some yeah. cover. One gets through. Uh, no, they have no, two up saves. Good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Now the scrap jet, also firing in. 
doing the big shooters first. Just big shooters. Trying to think off a wound. Okay. You know, you know so only got one big shooter. I'm sure it had lots of big shooters. It's got multiple. You're quite right. I think it's got two big shooters. It's got 78 big shooters. It's strapped <laughs> down with big shooters. We get six. Okay. Two of them. Five to hit. And we have a couple of hits there. Three. And big shooters are strength five. Strength five. So five. But re-rolling because it's twin linked. I okay. Yeah. So there's one wound so far. With the re-roll, that is two wounds, two up saves. I am okay. Here's all the missiles. D6 plus four because of blast. And the rocket cannon and so forth. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so five. Which hit on fives. fives. And that is two, two. hits. And Strength nine. So three. Three to wound. Two wounds. Two wounds. AP two. AP one. Three. Uh, but it's three damage a time, right? It is. So yeah. for further save. Which if don't fail a save, it would have exploded a Black Lord Terminator. Dragster, the fourth and final of the Speedwa. Uh, D3 plus two with the blast into the Terminators as well. Uh, so that's five shots. Here's the rockets coming in, streaking across the battlefield and hitting on fives. And we have four, four hits. Okay. Awesome. Here's a threes to wound. Yes. That's two amazing. wounds. Hugging against cover. Maybe Hopefully, two, I don't one. die. You don't. I don't die. And then you've got the snipey gun on top, yes. which is precision. It is. But you're firing at the Terminators as well. Yep. Okay. And hits on a three. Three, because it's powered by a. <sighs> and that's a two. That's a two. <laughs> orc shooting. Then the last thing to fire out from the Orc army was some twin DACA guns, which came in here and took a wound off Mahala, and that's it. So a couple of wounds, and a Blight Lord Terminator has died. And no charges. <laughs> so only one of the end of all things, only one of the Death Guard succumbs to his injuries so far. But there is a line of green and a line of steel right in front of the Death Guard. So when I go charging up, the counterpunch from the Orcs in turn two should be brutal. But no points for the Orcs in this round. Let's find out what the orders are for the Death Guard in Death Guard turn one. The end of all things, and move forward. I'm not deploying a teleport home in this turn, but the other orders bring it down means kill vehicles. So I'm lining up some shots over here with the plague burst crawler, with the drone, and with some of the infantry, as well as this tank, to fire into one or two of these vehicles. And I've lined up with the other tank and the other drone to fire into another vehicle over there, try and maximize some points. Not deploying Teleport Homer in the centre or the enemy deployment zone and also very worried about the counter charge next turn because I'm sure next turn the entire Orc army is going to scream wah and advance and charge and come rushing down towards my lines and we're going to have a bloody great scrap and we'll see who's alive at the end of it. So try and kill a few vehicles first. <laughs> Uh, I did decide, oh, need to move that around. I did decide to get this unit out of the Rhino to the, go charging, charging in and if I kill those bikes, that will stop you getting five points. And the counter charge from everything with the potential wow was, they were dead anyway. So let's get them out. That's the plan. With the crawler here that can shoot through and potentially snipe out a vehicle as well. So trying to stop you scoring five points on a primary. Uh, bracing myself for a counter charge. Now let's try and pick on a couple of vehicles. What we're going to do is this thing down this end, the multi melter can hit your war bikers, but the missile is going to fire through and start softening up one of the bring it down targets. Here's the multi melter into the bikes, it hits on threes, they both miss. And here's the missile launcher into the rucker truck squig buggy, and that misses as well. Great start. Oh, shooting. All right, let's kill some of war bikers over here, or oh, war buggies with the unit of Plague Marines that want to charge them. We're going to start off by firing all my Plague Bolters. Now, Plague Bolters are like normal Bolters, but we fire Plague. So these are lethal hits, they auto wound, which is quite handy because the rest of the shots are wounding on fives. Look at that, lots of good Winter's Head. Uh, five, four up saves, sir, each doing one damage. And I kill a Biker. Each squad of Plague Marines is a Blight Launcher, which hits on threes and at strength six wounds on a four, doesn't wound. And there's a plasma gun in there, which of course I'm keeping my finger on the trigger for. Of course you're. It's a very old plasma gun, more than 10,000 years old. And it hits both of the times. It will wound on threes. It wounds one of the times. And you've got a six up in venerable save these days, bikers. They do. They do. Nope. Did you fail? And that's two damage. 
doesn't kill one, but of course the plasma is hazardous and blows oh. up in my face and kills the guy who wielded it. So one's left on a wound. Let's fire the plague combi bolter from the rhino and I hit once and I don't wound. All right, let's move down the line and fire the heavy blight launcher from the fetid bloat drone into your rucker truck swing buggy. This is six shots and I hit on threes. And no lethals there, but it is strength eight and your toughness seven. Yeah. So I am wounding on threes. And that is three wounds at minus two, two damage. That's so two, three six six seven eight. guns. Ooh. And that's four damage in total. So it's on five wounds left. And much as I'd like to split fire with the Plague Burst Crawler and put the Mortar, which has got Blast, into a nice Blasty squad, I've got Bring It Down as a secondary, right. so I need yeah. to kill vehicles. So we're going to put everything into it. Let's start off with Entropy Cannons. I made sure that I was in range, but I just need to hit, and I hit once. It is strength 10, and I wound once, and it is minus three. So six up in vulnerable saves again, Ooh, which you make. That's huge. See, this is why we're putting everything yeah. into it. D6 plus three shots with the Blasting Mortar for five shots, which hits on threes. And six is a lethal, so there's no lethals. <laughs> strength eight. I don't even wound. <laughs> Then I fired through with a slugger off camera because it never does anything, right? Three wounds. Three shots, three wounds. It's on two <laughs> wounds remaining. Uh, yeah, so I guess mortar number two from the Plague Burst Crawler because it does two damage, the mortar, yeah, will go into the truck and then the entropy cannons and the sluggers will go into that one because I need to kill vehicles. Yeah. So let's do the mortar from number two. Uh, this time I've got six shots. Three, six is a lethal. There's a couple of wounds. That's what we're looking for. Spread the plague. And three wounds in total. Uh, three, five up saves. Fail one of these and it's dead. It's dead. Does it go boom boom? Yeah. It doesn't go boom boom. It was running low on fuel. It just gets pounded into oblivion. Right, two entropy cannons into the mega track scrap jet. The, the one that when it rams me really hurts. They hit on threes. Both of them hit. Spent 10, sir. Are you ready for this? Yep. Uh, I'm thinking about CP in it. I think I'm going to CP it. I really want it dead. See, both of them wound. Six up in vulnerable saves, because these do a lot of damage, entropy cannons. And you fail both of them. See, I need it dead. Yeah. D6 plus one each. So it's two D6 plus two to Nine this. Nine to get through. Nine to get through. That That's four damage. <laughs> it's still alive. Let's do the slugger. Right, then the slugger came in, tickled it all the way down to four wounds remaining. I'm making this look difficult. <laughs> so we're coming to the Mephitic Blight Hauler on this flank, hiding in the shrubbery down there. It's going to fire in. I made sure it was in range. Here is my multi-melters. Both of them hit. Strength nine, toughness less than, so threes. But those guys, they get plus one to wound against vehicles. Yep. So this is dues. I wound once. Uh, it's a multi-melter, so you need to make an invulnerable save. You yep. don't make an invulnerable save. It's got four wounds left. This is D6 damage. And it's got ah. one wound remaining. Rocket launcher. Misses! Right, this is fine. Everything's fine. It's on one, one, one wound. I did move these plate marines around this way because I, I knew this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> to throw some firepower in there as well. Again, everything from my plate bolters in that's what i'm looking for the sixes to auto wound and before i rolled the wounds with the other stuff you rolled the saves you failed to save i killed the thing i killed the thing that's two vehicles dead Explosive. and nope. this one doesn't blow up either no fuel see they were busy off hunting squigs and alligators out in the other part of the swamp okay while i'm on anti-inventory fire this unit here of uh, blight lord terminators want to charge you guys who are screaming wow over here but it's a 10 inch charge uh, I don't want to shoot any of them because it might make the charge a bit longer. So what they're going to do instead is they're going to put their shots down into this unit of boys. So let's fire out all the Terminators. So I'm hitting on fours because you hit them with rivet guns last turn. And these are lethal. But you made them hard as nails. So these Blake Bolters, instead of wounding on fives, I'm wounding on sixes. And I do get four wounds through. Okay. And they do get t-shirt saves. Well, five up saves. So four, five up saves. Thick t-shirts. Thick t-shirts. Four nope. of them die. Nope. And there's a... The pain boy. Oh yeah, pain boy. So now I've got the five up shrug. Okay. 
It's nice. It's Only two, two of them die. Then the Blight Launcher hits and wounds once. This is a six up save. And two damage. So two feelings off the... Oh, yeah, you made that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. Um, did I just fight... Oh, I fired one Blight Launcher. There's another one which hits. I need a five. It wounds. Again, another six up save. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So making up the six up saves on the Blight Launcher is nice. Uh, up here, they climbed up. There's two of them that can see. We're yep. going to fire in as well. Yep. Of course, we're overcooking the plasma. And it hits. This will wound on a four instead of a three because you did your thing. Yep. And that goes straight through the armor. So yep, a feeling does. of the pain. Just you were, you were overcooking, so it's two. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Dead. And a kill one. And then there is a plague bolter, which hits both at the time. These need sixes. I get I get a six. I get a six. That one's cocked. Yep. Eh. Two sixes. <laughs> five ups. And five ups. Nope. Okay. A couple more get taken out. How many of them kill That's in total? Five. Five? five dead. That's not bad. Hazardous check on yep. the plasma. He's okay. He knows how to use his gun. Okay. Last thing left to fire is fetid bloat drone pointing at smasher gun. It's a bit of a long shot. But it's a vehicle, so if I kill it, it that's extra points, and points yeah. mean prizes. Threes to hit with the heavy blight launcher. So those are two lethals. It isn't gonna it might kill it. And that's strength six, eight. Threes to wound, yeah. threes to wound. I get all the wounds through, and they have six up and vulnerable saves as well. If you fail all of these, that is a dead one. Because they have six wounds each. AP minus two, two damage. Don't get cover because other vehicles don't get cover. Uh, do they? they do actually, so the minus two becomes minus one, which is still a six up. Oh, they got f oh yeah, you're right. It's irrelevant. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. I don't think that. Wow, I killed it. Yeah, mech guns are a vehicle. So curiously enough, I get seven points for killing those three vehicles. Two points each, plus one for the card. Uh, that's the end of my shooting phase. I feel like I, I feel like I did okay. I did more than you killing one Blight Lord. Yes, much more, but you did. <laughs> you, tried, you tried not to. <laughs> is it is it too soon? Should I wait until that wound becomes a scar? <laughs> Next no, turn, you can fine. turn it into a scar by yep. smashing into my lines. Yep. Come closer, though. Come closer. I am going to come closer. I'm going to try a 10 inch charge with Blight Lord Terminators onto yes. this objective here. Good luck. Try and slaughter them all. Thanks. Let's see what Nurgle says. Nogle says four. Nogle oh, says no. Nah, I've got one <laughs> sat over there. That's fine. I'm not the... I could. I could, you know. But it's a ten. Will I get a ten? I, I know I need that command point for other devious strategies. I want you to spend it and therefore you shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of turn one, it's actually seven points to zero in favour of the Death Guard. Oh no, I've got another charge. I've got another charge. Oh, I remembered. Yes. Round this flank. We have Plague Marines. I'm trying to charge you and get you off of this objective here. Otherwise, you're going to pick up 15 on the primaries, and we don't want that. This is our encampment now, not yours. Look it's at all these lovely shrubberies. Place. We want to turn these all... Anyway, charge. That's an eight. We're in. We're in. Crump. We go charging in there, and with my new Contagions things, you're minus one toughness, mm -hmm. which doesn't really help me much, but also minus one save. So the four up goes to a five up. And I'm stabbing you with all my dirty plague knives. These, I definitely haven't washed them. Sixes are lethal. We have threes to hit and fives to wound. Oh, look at that. And they're all five up saves, one damage each. Ooh, oh, that's the unit. Um, yeah, <laughs> even before I hit you with my not power fists, <laughs> I wipe the squad. So at the end of 10 one, seven points to zero in favor of the Death Guard, but you are on one, two objectives yep. in turn two. So on the primaries, it will be 10 points to seven as we go on to Orkies, turn two. War boss Blood Teeth still wants to engage on all fronts and he wants to deploy a teleport homer, a blinky grip thing in the, uh, in the Death Guard's deployment zone. And with the Storm Boys dropping in this turn from Deep Strike, that's a lot of points that they can uh, that they can pick up. They're being dead sneaky, these boys. So it's turn two. We're in the command phase, and um, you're calling. Uh, do the wah, do the scream. I was going to. What? No one, no orc general doesn't charge in on turn two. But Blood Teeth has been watching too many Blood Axe friends um, explain cunning okay. tactics. So he's going to sit on it because I'm Blood Teeth himself is too far away to charge. 
I'm planning to not charge into the tar pit of death, Blight Lords. Blight Lords, come into the tar pit of death. I can kill these guys without charging them. Okay. I'm um, flash gets up here, so I can shoot them to death. Right. So I'm going to sit on it. It would give me a five up in one next turn. So an orc warlord is holding back his wire. Hold. 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 I like the fact. Yeah, he's back here. If yeah. he doesn't benefit from the wire, no, no one's should. benefiting <laughs> from the wire. Okay, let's go into the. I, I've ne I can't remember the last time I filled a battle report where orcs wait till turn three for a while. This is interesting. This is new. This the, is exciting. The risk is there might not be an orc army to. to <laughs> let's go into the movement phase. Okay, here we are after the orky movement phase. This unit in the middle that called the wire last turn went charging up the battle grid, still screaming wire. But the only problem is the war boss hasn't called a wire. So they're not going to go check their wire, wire, wire. Wire, wire, wire. Wire, wire, wire. Wire, wire, wire. So they just stood there <laughs> looking at the Blight Lord Terminators. But what you are doing there is move blocking. So if I go shooting, charging, killing, still not enough for consolidation if I kill all the unit to get me onto the central objective. So sneaky, sneaky. Cunning. Cu sneaky cunning. and cunning. And as for deploy a teleport homer and extend battle lines, well, um, Half of the engage. Path. What you wanted to do over here is the jump, right? Yep. And if you roll a one, bad things happen. But if you don't roll a one, you'd have been up here and you'd have been in all my table quarters. Lots of victory points. And you rolled a one. I rolled a one. So his head blew up and took out five boys. It was, yeah. It was, it was, it was, his head didn't blow up. Yeah. No, the war energy went through yeah. and shocked five of them. They yeah. fell over. So you're not engaging in four table quarters. Instead, you are engaging with three table quarters because at least the storm boys heard the orders. How yeah. they heard it while they were flying overhead, I don't know. But they've landed down here. They've dropped a little blinky red light down here as well. Some orc technology, best technology in the world. And that'll be eight points. So, Five for deploying to teleport home and a three for engaging. It's a torch in a dustbin. It's a torch in a dustbin flashing and pointing up to the sky. I love it. Down this side, you've got the flash gits looking at the unit of plague marines that went charging into the war bikers last, last turn. And war bikers part two will go flying into them in case there's any left standing there after the shooting. And that means you'll take that objective off of me. Down the middle, trucks, vehicles, Boys come forward. That was an advance in the middle as well. An advance with the truck with the war boss in it. While some of the big guns in the backfield stay still and aim to fire in at the end of all things. But we're going to start the shooting phase over here with the flash kits firing into the plague marines trying to get them off this objective. They've got four shots because they're shooting at the closest thing and they're hitting on fours. Do you know what? I'm so confident. I think I'm going to put dual fang. You dual Somewhere fire. Else. I'm going to split my fire. But he gives them all re-rolls. Yeah, but he doesn't have to shoot at the same time. But it's minus one, so I do get four up saves. Yeah, but I've got all these um, bikers as well. To okay. Find. So I'm going to put dual fangs hazardous. Right. Um, the ripper. Yes. Into that. You're going to fire at the tank. Mm -hmm. You're going to fire at the drone. Yeah, fire the drone. That's dual fang. Yeah. Okay. Here's all the snaz guns. Forced to hit because heavy and stood still and re-rolling. Re-rolling. Sixes explode. Dude, with the re-rolling and the explosions, everything hit. Orc shooting. I've never seen orcs <laughs> hit with everything before. Turn six, toughness five. Threes. Damage to each. So I need four up saves or dead plague marines. Oh no, you only killed two. Mm. Well, it's 100% more casualties than last turn and the bikes can, can, the bikes will clear them out. The bikes will be fine, but we're on to bad druck, not bad druck. Firing at the drone. Dual fang into the drone. Yes. Two charging. Making yes. Hazardous. Hitting on fours, re-rolling, those are going to explode. Are they? So that's nice. two extra. Okay, strength. Strength is uh, eight, so it's going to be fives to wound. Right. That OP is one. a wound. AP three. That is three a damage. failed save. Three damage. Yeah. Nice. The drone is down to six wounds remaining. So the war bikers, death killer war trike, firing everything into the plague marines. These sit on fives with all their twin DACA guns. Strength 5 versus Toughness 5, and this is twin linked, so re-roll on the wound, drop dice don't count, and it's AP minus 1, 1 damage at this range, so you kill 1.5 more Plague Marines yep. than the Death Killer. Wardrike gets to shoot, 6 orc. queen sticks, hitting on Orc, we have 3 hits, it's not bad, 5 to wound, no wounds, no wounds. 
And he's got his thing. He's, he's got, got auto hitting. Yep. Auto hitting flamer. D6. Ooh. Six auto hits. Which wounds on fours. And it's minus one. So that's that's four. four wounds at minus one. Four more. Four up saves. <laughs> and I'm okay. Ooh. Those those plague marines, they're blessed by Nurgle. There's still three of them left, shouting defiantly at the war bikers, who are gonna need to go charging in there to mop them up. That's what they wanted. Moving down the line, what are we firing next? We do a custom mega blaster into that injured uh, bloke drone. Into the one on six wounds left. Yep. Okay, I'm popping a CP called Cloud of Flies, yep. so it's going to be minus one to hit until the end of the phase. Okay. D6 shot, shots with your custom mega blaster. For four, four shots. Right. I'd really like to try and keep it alive. Hitting on fives. Because of drops. And we two have hits. two hits. It did help me once so there. Threes, I suspect. Yes. Let's say threes. And then check. It is strength 12, you're right, and it's toughness 9, so it is 3s, that is uh, wound, minus a lot, minus I need a 5 up and vulnerable save. You, I don't let, ooh, one minute, we need to check rules now. Minus 2 becomes minus 1, I've got cover, that was a pass. Yep. So no additional wounds on the drone for now. Firing the bubble chucker, see what uh, bubble he manages to produce that's this the, turn. I think Anti-infantry one. Okay. 2d6 shots coming to the Blight Lords with Blast, so it's plus two to this. So that seven. is seven shots in total. Hitting on Grot, not Orc, so force to hit. And we okay. have three hits. It will wound on fours though. I'm strength six. Minus two. one, plus one, two yep. up saves. Hmm. I'm okay. Below the two mech guns that have fired out, we have the unit of Looters. And you were thinking about shooting at the drone, but it's yeah. still stealthed up. It's yeah. got a smelly cloud of flies around it right now. So you're going to go into the Plague Burst Crawler? Yeah, I'll put everything there this time. Everything's going into the Plague Burst Crawler. So roll hits. Okay, so, so fives to hit Death them. guns, no, the, um, yeah, death guns first. Yeah. So you hit on fives. And re-roll everything. That's really good shooting for an orc. Yeah, I'm crap. surprised every time to say. anything hits. Particularly when I play orcs, it's like, oh, I managed to get a hit out of 20 shots. It's lovely. Well, they're mostly there for the noise, aren't they? Yeah. Um, now these are going to be winning on fives. Yes. We have three, three. wounds. AP1, no cover, so three up saves. I drop, drop those, don't count. Okay, two damage. Yep. Then three shots with the custom mega blaster from the spanner. And we get a hit. Does this re roll everything as well? Yep, it's always the same unit. Nice. We get another hit. Five to wound. Five to wound. It is a tank. That is a wound. That is a failed save. D6 damage. Do you want to... Uh, yes. I do want to CP it. Do I? Yes. I don't CP it. D6 damage. That ooh, is ooh. five damage. So the Blade Burst Crawl is down to five wounds remaining. One wound away from being nerfed on its profile. Then we remembered all the hazardous checks on all those hazardous things. No one's rolled. Which is good. I've got to do this one. Actually. Oh, we did the other two, but I haven't done that for this one. But he's all right. He's okay as well. Uh, and that's it for this flank. Everything else down here either advanced or came charging forward. Or what we've got left now is the two buggies here. And you want to hit the Blight Lord Terminator so they're minus one to hit. Yep. But you are in rapid fire range this time. Yep. So the rivet cannon has nine shots. And it goes daka 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 and hits twice. Oh. So it hits twice and wounds on. I strength seven, wounds on threes. Two wounds twice. AP. Uh, two threat saves. And damage two. That kills the injured guy. Because you've got your feel no pain. Feel no pain. <laughs> He's alive. Special. Somehow, a mating <laughs> of the feel no pain. Fluffy's coming in clutch already. Been... The Blight Lord Terminator fell to his knees and a demon prince just picked him back up again and said, You're not going anywhere. So, Shock Drop and Drag Stuff. Firing at the same target with the rockets. And that is three plus two to this because yep. of last. That's pretty good. Can you hit well yeah. on fives? Once. You can hit once. <laughs> Wounding on a three. It wounds. It wounds. Uh, minus two, I think. I think so. I'm alive. I'm alive. And well, it's shock three. That hits. hits the shock rifle. Wounds on a three, probably. Doesn't wound. Oh. Okay. There's orc shooting again. That is orc shooting. Well, you killed more than last turn. Yeah. A lot more than then, last turn. And then I get an orc phase. Now you get the orc phase called the charge phase. So no charging in the middle Actually, here. Actually, these guys can shoot. Those charge? What guys? Shoot. What guys? 
Oh, we did all them. The bike is shot. The bike, yeah, the bike is shot. The thing's shot. So over here, you've blocked off. No yep. charges coming in. You are yep. deploying teleport homers and blinky things. This is the only charge I think we're looking at this yep. turn. Uh, I think they're automatically in, but let's see how many get in. <laughs> snake eyes. Snake eyes is enough. enough. Yeah. Did you want to go charging in with the shock jump dragster into a rhino as well? I think I'm going to try and stop you and maybe even... Because my OC is three. I don't know what the OC of that jack dragster well, is. Well, I can maybe get both of them. You They're could... OC three as well. Okay. So, well, if you make the charge, yeah. then no one's controlling that yeah. one. So yeah. that stops me getting five points. Yeah. So, let's do so that. you might as well do it. That's and that's seven. a seven. That's enough. That goes flying in. And there is tank shocks and saw blades on the front if you want to start nibbling at a rhino. I think it's worth it on that. But I'm going to... No? Move it like that. That stops then, me scoring it. That stops me I getting five points. And I might also. That'd be a 12 inch charge. I mean, yeah. I'll, is it? it okay. Giggle. Good luck. Yeah, Negative. Fine. But that's good because I was on 5, 10, 15 on the primary. And now because you made the charge over there and the charge on the right and the left, I'm only going to get five points on the primary as we go into the fight phase and see what all these bikers do against my Plague Marines. One of them at the back there. Can't one, fight. One better fight. Yeah, hitting on twos because you're led by a Death Killer War Trike. Sixes go boom. So yeah, they go, go back, back in. in and you're going to need fives to wound because it's big smelly play marines. Three at minus one. So three, four up saves. The injured fella falls over. There's two remaining. Here's the knob with the power claw. Threes to hit. And those sixes <laughs> explode. He gets five hits. That's a proper swing. Uh, he's wounding Threes. on... Freeze? Only two I'm wounds come through. Is, not... is he strength 10? He might be strength. Strength 9, only two wounds. Against normal marines, that would have been four. But it is AB2, two damage. Okay, so there is my champion left stood there for your death will kill a war trike to smash into oblivion. The war boss hits on twos. Of course he does. There no explosions, close. but he does wound on twos. And he wounds every single time. He's very angry. And the Plague Marines get wiped out. So that's the end of one combat. No consolidation here because you're already in range of an objective. Now we're across to the shock trump dragster. It's got these drilly things on the front that's drilling into the rhino on fours. Sixes still explode. So, so that is in. all four hits. Tank seven. But it is fives to wound because yep. it is a tank you're trying to drill through. And one, uh, one of them gets in there. I need a four, I get a four, so no damage caused. Like and that, that really. is the end of Orcs. Turn two, what they've done is not declared a war, shockingly, but they've pushed me off all of the primary objectives except for this one back here that my two Plague Burst Crawlers are on. And they're engaging across three fronts. And there's a torch in a bin down here, which is their teleport homer, which gives them an extra eight points. I've got no reserves. I've just got to move forward. I haven't got any deep striking or outflanking or shenanigans like that. I've just got to try and move forward and catch the boys before this wire is called. If I do it in turn three, maybe I'll hold off. Who, who ever holds off to turn four? Who has? Turn it's three like a is, challenge now. Turn three is unheard of. It's gone to death guard, turn three. So adding on the primaries, the Orcs are in the lead, 18 points to 12, six points in the lead. And I need to engage on all fronts with a death guard. And storm a hostile objective. Take an objective that the orcs control. In the Death Guard movement phase, this unit got out of the Rhino and the Rhino advanced forward down into this table quarter to get me three points for engage on all fronts. And I need the unit inside the Rhino to charge across and take this objective off of the boys for storm hostile objectives. And knowing this, Mr. Poodle did some overwatch and fired in with the What's it called? Um, no, one of the buggies. One the, the one with the rivet cannon. The one with the rivet cannon. That's the booster blaster. That's the one. Into a unit of seven plague marines. There's five of them remaining that want to go charging in and take that objective off of you. And they minus one to hit. Because they got hit by rivet cannons and they're all shaken up. But uh, this is where I'm going to get all the points this turn. Meanwhile, down in this quarter, the chop jump dragster that jumped all the way forward, well, it's surrounded. Plague Marines are going to jump on it. Mephitic Blight Crawler is going to jump on it. There's going to be lots of jumping on here and lots of jumping on in the center as well against this unit of boys that came charging up and going, wah, 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 no wah. They're going to get jumped on. All right, I'm very aware 
that the knob and the war boss is going to counter charge my counter charge next turn and was potentially will be called maybe maybe yeah, we'll it. holding on to my backfield objective with the unit of plague marines in the tank the other tank on five wounds has moved around this way because if a war is called they can come all the way around they're moving 18 <laughs> when they go flat out and they can charge when I, and they'll be all the way up in my shizzle i don't want them up in my shizzle so I'm blocking with this tank because the bikes can't go up and over these enclosed things. We both agreed that at the start. My tanks will have to go round and round and round these things. And your bikers and tanks have to go round and round these. Or they could come around this way. But again, it keeps them away from my lines for now. And down this way, the torch boy, they, the, the storm boys, they put a big bit of fireworks in a dustbin down here. And they've drawn the attention of a drone and a crawler. They're going to go shooting in. Meanwhile, the Rhino, which is empty and on its own, just went flat out that way. Um, there could be some secondaries that come up in turns three, four or five, which I could score with a Rhino. And if you want to shoot an empty Rhino or go charging in with an empty Rhino, you're more than welcome you're to. Chase me, chase me. Chase the Rhino, chase the empty Rhino. So it's going over there in the hope that I get two or three more points with it later on in the game. <clears throat> so the main plan is kill Storm Boys, put some firepower in the middle, Kill Shock Dump Dragster and then go charging into that squad of boys. So we'll start off the shooting phase by firing this crawler in at the Shock Dump Dragster. The crawler has two melters which hit on threes and both of them hit. And I think I wound on fours right now. What are them wounds? Uh, you oh, unless you're toughness eight, then no, both of them wound. Tough, I think it's toughness seven. Toughness seven, so both wound. So six, seven vuns. And, I think uh, it's toast. Yeah, you at this to range, it's 2d6 plus 4. Yeah. That is a dead shock drum dragster. That's uh -huh. a lot of wounds. Please don't blow up. It doesn't blow up. It just gets cut in half by the laser beams of doom. It means I steal that objective. And it also means... Well, I haven't stole it off you because it was contested last turn. But it means I take that objective. It does mean those plague marines aren't going to go charging down and swarming it. So these plague marines and the drone... Well, I don't want to shoot this squad because you'll take away and make my charge even longer so i guess i'm shooting plague bolt guns in another war buggy so let's hit on threes with the plague bolt guns that one's lethal and these other ones will wound on fives only one wound uh. failed save that's one wound overcooking plasma hits and doesn't wound and hazardous and <gasps> blows up in Second his face one. See, he's been carrying that for 10,000 years. Why is the time that now it decides to blow up in his face? Okay, Blight Launcher. Blight Launcher hits both of the times, and one's oh, lethal, wound. and the other one doesn't wound. So that's a minus one, and that's a failed save, and that's another two damage, and that's it for the Plague Marine. So we're going to come across to the Fletted Bloat Drone, firing heavy Blight Launchers in as well. Daka, daka, daka. Hitting on threes, only three hits, and wounding on that. Two more six up saves. Make and you make one. one, and that's two more damage. Okay, the buggy's on four wounds left. We're coming down to the center. Demon Prince Fluffy has got a plague spewer sort of in his fist, and he's going to spit on the unit right in front of him for d6 auto hits, for three auto hits. A strength five versus toughness five would be forced to wound, but this is anti infantry, two up. And that is three wounds. One minute, one minute. This is AP minus one. So normally a five up becomes a six up. But your armor save is also reduced by another oh, one because of the contagion of thing. No, so, no t-shirts. Yeah. Fluffy spurts on them and just wipes out three of them. After my demon prince took three of them out, then the blight lords unloaded into that squad. And because they were in contagion range, I was winning on fours and six up t-shirts. So I, I wiped them out. Rather, rather quickly, actually. It's a, bit, it's a bit too easily for my liking. Yeah, it suddenly occurs to me as well that now I've got two chances to mm. storm that hostile objective. One with the Blight Lords, one with the Plague Marines. So I'm suddenly feeling good about my life choices. If only I'd had a five-up inbound from calling the war. If only. <laughs> <you'd>... <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna keep going with the tanks, trying to kill your fast stuff. Yep. So we're gonna fire two entropy cannons into that buggy, which should be dead by now, and we hit it both of the times. And entropy cannons. Don't wound. <laughs> Here's the mortar. It's D6 plus three shots. These will hit on threes. And I get three Ooh. lethal hits. That'll wound on eight. Oh, look at all the wounds. 
Look at all the wounds. No cover from here though, so five at minus one into your buggy. Five ups. Always in trouble. Two damage a time. Yeah. That is a dead buggy. That one doesn't blow up either. The orc vehicles, either they're running low on fuel after going out grot hunting earlier on, or the <clears throat> melter shots and the and the acid sprays of the Death Guard are just blobbing them into oblivion. Mm. Will the will the truck blow up though? Because this tank is going to try and fire everything at your truck because that's got your war boss in it. Yes. So here's some entropy cannons. And they're both hit and they're both lethal. Those are auto wounds. I don't even know if it gets a save. It's got a six up in bun. And nope. it doesn't make any of the six up in buns. So uh, it's 2d6 plus two yep. to this. No. Oh, six damage. It's still alive. Let's fire the mortar in for three shots. Hitting on threes. Two of them are lethal at least, so that is two more at minus one. Make one. Make one, so two damage. Then the stubber went in and the truck's on four wounds remaining. I think that's it for my shooting face. Oh no, I remember something. <laughs> I've got the drones down here that want to kill the storm boys. Let's start off with the heavy blight launcher, which hits on threes. And again, six is a lethal. This will wound, because you're in contagion range, wounds mm -hmm. on twos. Mm -hmm. And because you're in contagion range, it's minus two, two damage. So they're safe. I think I'll wipe out four of them. And the last little storm boy is going to get multi melters to the face. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, he gets melted. Yeah. He gets. They did get your eight points, they though. They did. They did. And they have <clears throat> made, uh, made me pull back yeah. with two vehicles that want to get up there and want to... I really wanted to start raining fire yeah. bar into them or into your mm -hmm. looters, but... Uh, they pulled me back in this general direction. Okay, that's it for my shooting phase. We're going to try some charges now. I'm engaging. Now let's try and storm that hostile objective. Starting off with a unit of plague marines that you shot down to. There's only five remaining that mm -hmm. you have watched. That's oh, 11. Yes. They're definitely in. Blight Lord Terminators as well. Oh, and, and that's an 11 they're in as well. Crump. At the end of the charge phase, it looks like this. And there are seven. Blight Lord Terminators with Bubotic Blades. So these Bubotic Blades hit on threes. Fours. Fours. We're hitting on fours. You hit with a river gun last time. These are lethal, but because there's a lot of contagion in there, I get to re-roll all attacks. Right. These are lethal. Okay. Bubotic Blades are strength five. Orcs normally toughness five, but toughness four because yep. of contagion. So these wound on threes. And it would be AP minus two, but essentially it's AP minus three of, because of because of contagions and things. I do have feel my pains. Feel that's pain. a lot of wounds. It is. Feeling of the pains. Pain boy in there. Good luck. If anyone, if anyone's dice can roll five up, feel no pains. It's your dice, Winters. I touch those dice. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of fives. Uh, you, the you, some? Some yeah. fives? Let's see how many... And when the dust settles, I managed to kill every single one of the boys in that unit, including the pain boy, before I got to fight with the 12 attacks with the flares of corruption. So that was overkill in a nutshell. I've also made sure that there's four Terminators that are on that objective because they only have an OC of one. And you have an OC of three because yep. of your truck. Yep. So I'm OCing you off of that objective. And that is Storm Hostile Objective. And also one more thing. Because in battle round three, my contagion range is nine inches, but from Fluffy, he gets plus three to that, Living yep. Plague, 12 inches. So I'm still in my six up feel no pain range yep. of Fluffy. It's like I planned it. Good plan. And that is the end of Death Guard turn one. I do get both of two. my secondary objectives. Turn two for me, I do get both of my secondary objectives. We're a bit turtled up in the middle, and I've got some units on the right. And some units on the left just chilling out here. But the orcs are already running out of quite a few mm. assets. How many uh, primaries are you on now? One, two. Okay. So you will pick up ten points on the primaries as we go to orcs turn three. When we tack on the primaries, the orcs are actually eight points in the lead. 28 points to 20. Sounds good. Uh, they want to check behind them. Check in the corner of the battle grids. Investigate signals. They also want to take an objective. Off with the Death Guard. In the Orc movement phase, the unit that was in strategic reserve, they were late. They were having tea and biscuits. They've come on in this corner, wondering what all the noise is about, the smell is about. And they're, they're investigating signals. They're checking out what's over here. 
And the weird boy jumped into this corner without blowing anyone's brains out and they're investigating signals over here and that will be four points. As for storming a hostile objective, well, the truck in the middle, your war boss got out. What's his name again? Blood Teeth. Blood Teeth gets out and he's got nine Blight Lord Terminators, a Lord of Contagion and five Plague Marines around this side of the Orky Ruin wow. to deal with. And he declared the wow. war. Yeah, war is the war out. is happening now, so at least they've got an extra strength, they've got an extra attack, they've got a five up invulnerable save until the end of the phase, the end of the battle round. Yep. So when I shoot back, and then once I got out of the truck, the truck is able to move normally, so advance round here took this objective. So you're still on one, two objectives. You're trying to storm that one over there, that'll be three objectives. You're investigating signals, and the bikers that were here came speeding around this way. Because they can advance and charge, and they've got two Death Guard vehicles with which to pick on. This side down here, this corner over here, this is all Death Guard territory for now. So, shooting phase, we're starting over here with the Bubble Chucker. And this time it manifested a wobbly bubble, because you rolled a four. That's a three damage bubble, <laughs> coming into the Blight Lord Terminators. D6 shots. For four shots. Hitting on grot, so hitting it on fours. Oh, hello. And everything hit. Strength nine. Three to wounds. And we have Ops. three wounds. That was that was a wound. That's a wound. I need four up saves or death. You kill one with a bubble chucker. Uh, feel no pain. Feel no pain. You don't kill one with a bubble chucker. I you do. do kill <laughs> one with a bubble chucker. No feel no pains made. Next to the bubble chucker, we have the looters firing it in at the Blight Lord Terminators as well. Two shots each, they're hitting on Orc. But because those Blight Lords are next to an objective, you get to re-roll all hits, which is good because only two hits hit so far. Three to wound. Four wounds. I've got loads of cover, so two up saves, and I make my saves. So we're moving across here to the flash gits. They're also picking at the same target. Because it's not the closest, you don't get the extra hit. Uh, but you have got an ammo run in there, which you're spending to make these lethal hits. Yep. But and they're heavy. And they're also sustained hits. Okay, so force to hit. Okay. Where are we going? We're going here, we're going here. Force to hit. Sixes explode. Rerolling. Uh, Rerolling once. Rerolling uh, the Captain Jewel Fang straight bad rep. Just give them reroll hits. Nice. Uh, look at those That's sixes. That's much better. Six is a lethal, but they also explode. Strength six versus toughness six. So force to wound. Nice. Minus one, two damage and no cover from this angle. So uh, threes. Okay, that's not a lot of threes. You've got some feel no pains. I have got some feel no pains. So it's two damage a time. Yeah. So this guy six up feel no pains. He's, he's alive. alive on one wound. And then he's dead. And then another guy. Six up feel no pains. He's alive on He's alive well on done. one wound. Is it you special? Good when his head keeping <laughs> me alive there. But Captain Jewel Fang has his mega blaster and he's got the re-rolls. That's pretty good shooting techs. Winning on two. Uh, three. Three. Yes, yes, because toughness six. One wound. One wound. AP more though. AP a lot. I need a four up and bun. I make a four up and van. <laughs> the Blood Lord Terminators are still alive. So the knobs are unloading everything into the Terminators. They've got an ammo run as well to make them lethal hits, and they've got a lot of sluggers. Fives. Daka, daka, daka. No sixes. No sixes, but there's some hits. And then fives, fives again, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. one. There's a wound. Roll a one for me. Top save. No. I didn't roll a one. Then Warbus Blood Teeth himself has got his combi weapon. And Ooh, it hits. Hello. Is that a lethal? It's a lethal hit. It's a lethal, so that wounds. I don't know what the AP is. Uh, that's definitely a failed save. <laughs> one was on one wound. Damage one and need a feel no pain. He kills one. Great shot blood from teeth. the Warbus. Wow, Blood Teeth. So I've got six my Lord Terminators and my Lord of Contagion left standing in the middle and you've still got your custom Mega Cannon there which you could put into them and soften them up some more. Are we doing that or are we firing at the tank because I saw you in an ring earlier on. Yeah. Tank's only on five wounds and it's causing you issues. It is causing issues but it, I'm worried about the ability of... The, I think I'm going to go for the Blight Lords. You're going to go for the Let's Blight Lords. Let's do it. That's the points. That's okay. where the points are. Decent Decent shots. shots. For six <laughs> shots. We have rolled the hazardous for the other stuff, by the way. Let's do so hazardous for this one there. Okay, don't roll a one. 
Uh, that's that a one. It takes six. three wounds. Yep. Brilliant. <laughs> it's the first second. hazardous we failed, so I'm glad we caught it on camera. Uh, force to hit, my terminators. And you get two, two. hits. Uh, two's to wound them, though. Two's. Oh, only one. one wound. Four up in vulnerable save. And, and this time I D6. failed it. D6 damage, yeah. Four. So I need four feel no pains. Four feel no pains. They have three wounds each. Can I make two sixes again? <laughs> Surely not. No, I can't. Hey. We're down to five Light Lord Terminators and, and a Lord of Contagion. And they're very, very angry. Yeah. And smelly. And he's on three wounds. And full of pus and boils. Then we come down to this corner here where war boss number two is directing firepower everything into the blight hauler. He's, he's definitely not a war boss, he's just a, a guy on a bike. He's a guy on a bike, yeah. but he's a he's a he's got the war boss thing, but she gives him the buses and things. He's the second in command. <laughs> yeah, alright. And he's so, an evil son, so he likes bike. Firing everything at these, the idea is to kill that shooting charge that one. Yep. It you is assault weapons, so we'll, there's not everything to fire, but the, the boom okay. sticks. Boom are sticks. On fives. That is three, three hits. You need five to wound. Six is probably. Well, strength five, I think they are. Toughness nine. Uh, you're right. Yeah. I don't know if there's an One. AP. No, there isn't. I make five. a save. I'm okay. Right. And then we've got a lot of twin link stuff coming in. Thirty shots on fives. Daka daka daka. Literally. Fives to wound. Twin linked though. There's four already. And this is AP minus one because yes. it is the closest target. Okay, so that is five wounds, five four up saves into the crawler. Two uh, wounds. It takes two wounds, it's down to seven remaining. So he couldn't do a drive by shooting on this thing and then charge. He's going to have to pick one or the, mm -hmm. the other, or maybe both in close combat. But I reckon both in one round of combat is going to be a tough order. I think that's the end of your shooting phase. Yep. You've been spraying and praying all the way across the line. So now we need. Some charges. Do you know where the war boss and the Death Killer War Trike is going? Which one he wants to go into? No, no idea. <laughs> Down here, though, with your main I, war boss. I know what's happening. There. One or other or both. I'm gonna just go for the Blight Lords. All right, yeah, I would. Yeah. Just one of them. That's and that's a that's even, a big enough charge. He's yeah. he's in. Yep. He's in. This is what it looks like in the center after Blood Teeth makes the charge into the Blight Lord Terminators. You've made a decision with the war bikers. Yep. You're coming into the drone yep. to try and pull them more into the battle grid for next yep. game turns, but you need a six inch charge. Six. And that's a nine. nine. That's they good. go flying in there in a billowing cloud of smoke, screaming their heads off. It's an orky fight phase. It's orc fun time all round. Now, I have got some CP in my hand. I can pay to interrupt, so we're definitely starting down here. Bad Teeth versus the Black Lord Terminator. Blood Teeth. Blood Teeth. Yeah, he's got bad teeth as well. He Look does. at them. Yeah. They're a bit he yellow. He doesn't brush his teeth. More <laughs> often than yours, but... Well, I've never brushed my teeth. <laughs> right, so orcs explode on sixes when they punch stuff, right? One CP for... Unbridled carnage. So fives explode. Okay. And extra attacks because of wow. How many attacks has uh, bad teeth got right now? You're doing it deliberately. Blood um, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blood yeah. teeth has four attacks natively. Right. Five because it's the wah. Yes. And then with any, any turn he's benefiting from the wah, he gets another four. Does he? Oh, man. Okay. This is what I was saving the wah for. This basically. is what we're saving the wah for. Yeah. Twos to hit with the wah. Yep. Fives and sixes exploding. Good luck. Come on. See, this is why I'm not spending any CP on anything to turn this. I could do... I'm not spending any CP. I want to see what they could do. Yep. Oh, brilliant. Yep. So three back. Uh, it gets him up to strength 11. Yep. But I'm tough to six. Yep. So it's threes to wound. Um, five at AP two damage two, so four up saves. I only take two wounds. No woman at yeah. feel no pain because Fluffy yeah. is blessing them. You take two, two wounds. wounds. I think one was injured. Was one injured? No, 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 no you I've wiped that guy out. Yep. Okay, have you got a boss with a power with a? Oh, they're Everyone. all knobs. They're Everyone's all knobs. got claws. What? There are ten with yes. claws. Oh. <laughs> so one minute, one minute, one minute. Three attacks each, right? And then on the charge, because of wow, four attacks each, yep. with claws, yep. 40 attacks, five and six is exploding. Yeah. It was at this point he wished he had spent two CP on disgustingly resilient, but no. Let's see what they could do. You're right then. <laughs> it's fun. It's lovely rolling all, yeah. isn't it? And nids and things exactly. like that. Exactly. So this would be fours, but threes because of war boss. Yep. Fives and sixes. Oh, look at all those fives and sixes. 
40 attacks with all the explosions, 39 hits. You just dropped one there. You're right. We're good. We're good. We're all, it's all right. Freeze to wound. Freeze to wound. Freeze to wound. With a lot of wounds. So the Blight Lord Terminates need to make 34 up and vulnerable saves. It's fine, I got this. I don't got this. Two damage a time. Yep. Okay. This is a few <laughs> moments later. So, feeling of the pains. Dead. One's dead. Uh, feeling of the pains. Two's dead. Feeling of the pains. Three's dead. Feeling of the pains. Four's dead. Come on. Feeling of the pains. Five's dead. How many have I got in there? One, two, three. There's five. Okay, so these are all on my Lord of Contagion. Yep. So six. Had two each. Four open buns. Oh. I oh, know these are the no, feeling of the was, pains, yes, aren't they? they all have, yeah. These are all the feeling of the pains. Six. What am I doing? Six. Okay, so he takes five wounds. He's definitely got more than five That's wounds. Seven, I, think. I think he might be on two remaining. One minute. Turns out I had another Blight Lord Terminator lost in that mess down there. So where are all the Dusk Owls? You killed every single one of the Blight Lord Terminators, leaving my Lord of Contagion, Polos, stood at standing there, and you're not even consolidating into him. Which means I can't even strike you back. We've got a set list. We're just starting the playing. Yeah. Uh, you stormed a hostile objective. You've ripped along the Blight Lord Terminator's limb from limb. And now the band strikes up on the drums, yeah. on the keyboard. Imagine the noise they're making. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Or... It's beautiful, orky, deaf, rock, metal music. So you've taken the centre. But can the war bikers kill the fetid bloke drone down on this flank? We've got 24 attacks hitting on twos with all the choppers. And sixes go boom, boom. And instead of sixes to wound, five to wound. Because of wow. Because of wow. Um, that's that's nice. really bad. Did you just get three wounds? Three through? wounds. Three, four up saves then. I didn't take a wound. <laughs> It's on five wounds left. Yep. It's the knob with the claw. Or the war boss? It's the war boss. It's got five attacks. No um, explosions. That's a shame. Okay. He so wounds on three. Three, yeah. Okay. Three at least. He could still do it. He could still do it. Five up and vulnerable saves. Five wounds to get through. Oh, look at that. It's on three wounds to get through. That was the war boss. Now they were on the knob with the power claw. This will be a three. Yep. And That's two explosions. And a wound on threes. That is three, three wounds. Five plus. How many wounds have I got left? Three. Three. So if I make two fives, I'm okay. Yep. Good luck. Oh. I'm going to command point eight because yeah. it's really annoying. Yeah. And I'll. No, he's dead. The drone's gone, and it doesn't blow up for deadly demise. And bad teeth here manages to make his way through all the blight lord terminators. <laughs> And in the backfield, the second in command manages to make his way through the blow drum. The bikers consolidate to get them in range of that objective, not OCing me off of it, but pulling them closer into the battle grid because they were a little bit exposed around there. And then the orcs achieve all their secondary objectives. They're checking behind them. They've stormed a hostile objective and the war bosses are here to fight. And in my shooting phase and attack phase next turn, they're going to have a five up in vulnerable save because a wah has been called. And they're on 37 points. At the start of my turn three, I am going to get five, ten points for these two objectives here, getting my points up to 30. So the orcs are seven points in the lead as we go into Death Guard turn three. So the orcs are running out of assets, but they are seven points in the lead and they're all over my stronghold, my home objective. And I need to defend that until the end of the orc turn. And I also need to take any two objectives in no man's land to secure no man's land. Defending my stronghold might be a little bit tricky. The tank is going to hold firm and try and defend it while the plague marines shoot and go charging in. Hopefully tie them up with the tank firing in as well. I don't fancy my chances, but I'll give it a go down here. I should be able to do it. I think so. I'd have liked to send the drone in round as well to try and tie up the bikers. But I need secure no man's land. And so far I'm on this objective in no man's land. And I'm not on this one. Remember the rhino that was going up the table to score later? Well, if the rhino manages to score that objective, I will get secure no man's land. I'll be on two. So the drone has to come back here to try and shoot with the truck. 
and the tank over there needs to shoot with the truck because right now no one's controlling that objective dead truck i control it secure no man's land win while defense strongholds going on and then everything else everything else <laughs> is gonna fire into this orc menace with all those power claws in the middle of the battle grid and try and slay the warlord and the band plays on Right, we're going to start off with the Mephitic Blight Hauler. I'm going to fire all the guns together because they all hit wound damage the same. And I need threes. And it would normally wound on uh, threes, but minus one to wound because knobs. So fours. And a wound, and they get a five up and vulnerable safe. Because of wah. Wah! Okay, that's the first <laughs> shot. There's many, many more. You may as well give up now. Here's the uh, Heavy Blight Launcher from a Drone. Threes to hit. That one's lethal. Mm -hmm. These would wound on threes, but we're going to wound on fours. Two more wounds. Uh, one more. Oh, it's two in total. Yep. Yeah, because it's strength yep. eight versus toughness five, so yep. fours to wound. We have wow saves. And that's two damage. Uh, I've only killed one so far. Yep. Okay. I've got two units of plate greens here, so what I'll do is I'll fire them all in at the same time. Okay. Just make things quicker. Here are all the plague bolt guns. Looking for sixes, really, because they're lethal. Because all these other shots, because you're minus one to wound, are going to wound you on sixes. Ooh, there we go. I get three wounds. Okay. Three five, five ups. ups. He's doing no. oh, damage. Kill the holy one. bolt gun, or the unhallowed bolt gun, kills one, puts one down to one wound. Uh, we've got rapid firing plasma. I'd love to say that there was two rapid firing plasmas here, but one's <laughs> blown up already. And he keeps his finger on the trigger and overcooks it and hits once and will wound on a four and wounds once. A five up invulnerable save or that guy on one wound goes pop. Not on him, he's playing the drums. He's also close to Fluffy. Okay. I've made it. That's a six. It's a five. That's a five. Good enough. Hazardous check. I failed every single <laughs> one so far. He's okay. Oh. He's okay. Two blight launchers. Hit you and wound yep. you both of the times. So two more five up and vulnerable saves. No. And yet. that is two damage each. So the drum, round. the drum guy, he gets taken out. That's all the plague marines. Now we're on to Fluffy. Plague, spewer, three shots. Anti-infantry two plus, yep. and minus one to wound, becomes three plus. Okay, one wound <laughs> for a, a five up and vulnerable save. Nope. That's only a wound. Oh. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. What we'll do is we'll do the stubber from the tank that way, and then everything else from the tank is going to come back into these bikers. Mm -hmm. Here's the stubber. Uh, I'm not sure that's lethal. It's not. It no, it's yeah. not. Uh, strength five, toughness four because of the thing. Yep. So we're on to fours to wound. Ooh. One wound. If you fail that five, the guitar player gets it. Guitar player gets it. The guitar sorry, player Nash. gets it. Why are you taking the bandmates away? They're cool. They are cool. And I'm sorry, Kraken, but it makes Fluffy's charge fractionally longer. In case I roll a snake eyes on the charge. Yep. Right, I like it. So there's five knobs with claws right now and your war boss. That's it for the shots. Mm -hmm. We'll have to do this in close combat. The old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. Let's fire the mortar and all the other guns yep. from the tank into your bikers. Do you want to spend the CP on minus one to wound them? You didn't need it on the yeah. knobs, but these guys, you could spend it on them because the, all of these shots are winning you on threes. If you spend the CP, I'm winning you on fours. I think I will. because bigger. And then the bolt guns coming in will be winning you on sixes apart yeah, from the least. Sure. You've got two CPs yeah. over there. Uh, mortar, D6 plus three, which becomes D6 plus four because of blast. Yep. Threes to hit you. And these are now fours to wound you. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Entropy cannons for the win. One hit. Four. Wounds. Five plus in vulnerable save on the bikers. Oh, come on. You make the save. Yeah. One minute. This is a tank. It's supposed to kill them. These are orcs. We believe that we're invulnerable and therefore we are. Have I got a plasma still alive? I've got a plasma still alive there. Yeah, and the Plasma, he's obviously overcooking. Obviously. Strength seven would be a three, but four because yep. you spent the CP. I do a wound, five plus. No. Two damage. They have three wounds yep. each yet, so it's not dead. Does his plasma gun blow up? Yep. Good, good. <laughs> Blight launcher, 
Hits once, this will be a five to wound now because you spent the CP. No. Right, let's do a lot of bolt guns. Two wounds of the bolt guns, two four up saves. Okay, so didn't kill any. <laughs> See, the idea is there'd be a couple of them dead, then I charge them yep. and then I hold up. Now I don't fancy their chances very much because when I charge you, the wire is still in effect. You've still got plus and strength and attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I do need points. I do need yep. points. I do need to kill the truck. So this crawler is going to fire at that truck no matter what. Yep. Here are entropy cannons. Not entropy cannons. Uh, multi-melters. Multi -melters. One of them hits. And it doesn't wound. How about a missile launcher? Hits. And that's Wounds. a six. It wounds. Uh, you're six in contagion on. range. So six yeah. Five. That's a five. It's on five wounds left. Yep. The missile explodes and does Yay! six damage. That's a dead truck. Let me roll a six as well. No. And it just goes crump. And None of my vehicles have exploded. No vehicles have exploded. Crazy. I know, I know. There should definitely be exploding vehicles on yeah. twos, I think. It would make the game a lot more fun. Right, Poodle. Mm -hmm. I've secured no man's land now. Have. Which means the tank that was going to deal with the truck can now fight your bikers. Yep. So let's, uh, let's kill a couple now because... Yep. There's only one on one wound. Mortar. Um, that's a lot. That's well a lot. That's ten shots. Threes. At least to get two lethals. Mm -hmm. And fours because of Arda's nails. That is five wounds. Five up saves. Ooh, only one. Two so. wounds each. So. So the injured guy dies. One. Another guy takes four wounds. Two, three. And one goes to one wound remaining. Yeah. Slugger on threes, and your toughness five, strength five, or your toughness six to five, uh, fives, nothing. You didn't, you didn't do the slugger on the other one, did you? Entropy, I did, the stubble went that way to oh, try yes, and pinch the guy. Yes, yes. Entropy cannons, at least to get a lethal hit. Fours, because of your thing. Okay, okay. two invulnerable saves on bikers. Come on, come on bikers. You one. make one fail, one, that guy gets cut in half. Okay, that's more like it. I killed three bikers. I hope tank number one would have killed three bikers, but uh, that's why I take two of them. Mm -hmm. These things tend to do terribly on their own, so I take two Plague Burst Crawlers. Whenever I would take one, I always take two. Um, that is the end of my shooting phase. You don't have to take a battle shot. Do I want to charge? I've got defense. I've got to charge. If you don't... I've got to charge. Go the Plague Marines are definitely going to go charging in though they feel rather bad about this. They reluctantly go charging in. Fluffy's like, you charge, do we have to? Yeah, you've got to, otherwise no more popping boils for you. Okay, in the middle, Fluffy versus your war boss's unit. Mm, There's a in. seven, he gets in there. Lord of Contagion, he's who in. at the moment, he's okay. And the Plague Marines next to him, that's, that's, that's a lot of charging things. And there's those as well. Yeah. So what about those, are they staying there? Uh, if they want to, they can all go in. I think everyone's going in, and you don't have the CP. Party, there's a party on the, on the objective. <laughs> party in the centre, <laughs> in the middle no, of the orky thing. Well, there's no drums or guitar. Why did you take the drums and guitar <laughs> away? Right, we're having a bit of a rave in the middle of the battle grid, but I feel like that's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> I want to come back down here to my home field objective and this unit of seven plague marines hitting your war bikers. Are you spending any CP on any of the things? I'd love to, but I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that um, one of the fists or the, the, the speed boss survives to punch back harder with a uh, unbridled kind. So you're not doing harder's nails. No. Instead, spending the CP for offense rather than defense. Yeah. Okay, plague knives for the win. <laughs> hitting you on threes. Six is a lethal. That one's lethal. That's a one's a twos. Look at all those ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. These dice are available if you email me. <laughs> uh, strength four, toughness is now down to five. I do do three wounds. And I have dropped your armor save down by one. Yep. So that's three five-up saves. Yep. Oh, that was so nearly a six. Uh, um, stab two. One twice. Yeah, one damage each. Yeah. And then... I've got my heavy plague weapons, which are basically power fists. Mm -hmm. And these hit on fours. Ooh. And they all wound, because they're all lethal. And they're all minus two, which becomes minus three, so... Uh, I'm still wearing. Five, five plus invulnerable saves. Three five plus invulnerable saves. Two damage a time. And that is four wounds. Killing so one. Kills one. And one down to one wound. Okay. So that's it. I killed one in close combat. 
Right, before you get to fight back there, mm -hmm. we've got to do all the other charging units. Yeah. Let's come across here and let's start off with plate. It's going to have to be the plague marines to soften you up, right? And then we'll find out whether yeah, Golos or my prince takes the prize. Yeah. Squad number one with five plague marines. Here's the plague knives on threes and sixes are lethal. And because knobs are minus one to wound, I need sixes with these. I do four wounds. Right. Four, four five, ups. five up saves. No. One and each. That is three wounds. And then... Two heavy plague weapons. That one's lethal. And these guys. Your toughness is four right now, right? Yeah. Oh, so these are twos become threes to wound. And that is three more invulnerable saves, sir. He's doing two damage this time. So this Plague Marine Squad left two, which leaves two in there along with your boss. And now we're on to Plague Marine Squad number two. Plague Knives. Two lethals. Rest need sixes. Two wounds. Two five up and vulnerable saves on a knob. One. Just one. It takes a wound. And then we have the heavy plague weapons. Just two hit. And they're lethal. Two more five pluses. Come on. One. So, so that kills that guy. Okay, so one this squad killed two. Hit. One squad killed one. Now we're on to Fluffy and the Lord of Contagion. <laughs> You've got a super cyborg body. Let's start yeah. with the Lord of Contagion because I don't think he can kill all of that in one round and I'd love it if Fluffy took the prize here. Lord of the Contagion's got two types of attacks. I'm doing the strike version and he hits on twos. Hey, no. And he's strength eight. And that unit is toughness. You use Four. the... Yeah. It's minus one though. So it would be twos, becomes Back threes. Back to threes. Uh, that is two wounds. Just Ooh, two, two wounds, yeah? So five up, invulnerable save on... Has your war boss got five invulnerable save as well? I think he's got a... Yeah, so two five plus invulnerable saves. Uh, the knob gets taken wait, wait. out because it's three damage a time. And then it'll put three damage on your war boss. Yeah, let's do that. And you've got a four up, feel no pain do because it. he's more machine yep. than orc. And he only he takes two, two wounds. wounds. Yep. Two wounds. So he's down to four wounds left. I don't fancy his chances. Come on, Blood Teeth. Then Hang Fluffy in piles in and attacks Blood Teeth. He raises his Hellforged weapons for a strike attack. It's on twos. No lethalness going on yeah. here. So five hits. His strike attack is strength eight. I'm higher. This is Would be threes, threes to threes wound now yep. because you're a war boss. Three wounds. Three invulnerable saves. Each doing three damage. Oh! Fair <laughs> one. Three so wounds three, come through. He's three, got four, four wounds remaining. That's He's got the feel no pain. pains. He only takes two more wounds. He's down to two wounds remaining. I'm he alive. survives the charge. Yes. From a Lord of Contagion, a Demon Prince, and two <laughs> units of Plague Marines. Love it. What a hero. He's in an orc happy place, absolutely <laughs> surrounded by the enemy, and he gets to fight back. So you're spending his EP on Unbridled Carnage and you're splitting your attack. What's going on? Tactically, we were saying it's probably better to try and steal your objective over there. Yes. This is this is now all about Blood Teeth having some fun. So he's going to spend his EP <laughs> on himself, and he's also splitting his attacks uh, five into the fives and four into... Into this unit spot. of six, unit of five. Yep. You mm -hmm. want to see how many plague marines he can murder yeah. in one go. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Fives and sixes exploding. So into this unit over there. Into the bigger unit. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh no! Did you just get one explosion? I got one explosion and four ones. Okay, that's Brilliant. not good. So he hits that unit twice, yes. probably because he was leaning over his yeah. shoulder and yeah. trying to hurt the other one. Yes. Okay. Two to wait. He does at least cause two, so you okay. get two saves. Two five ups. He mashes one. It's just one. Just one in that <laughs> unit. Oh well. Can he kill any in the other yes, units? Yes, all of them. Twos. Oh, that was close. Okay, so this time he hits six. Yeah. <laughs> he was a bit distracted. Yeah, this is the one he was actually in. Yeah, he just kicked the others in the teeth. And right, so okay, five. it's five wounds. I imagine what he did is he stuck both of his arms out and was spinning around <laughs> like a helicopter. Yeah, to engage the tracks into opposite directions. Five up saves. Oh, look at that. 
He kills one in one squad, two in another squad, and uh, maybe saving them for later. It's, it's still, it's fine. He's still in the happy place. Then we come back to the death, kill a war trike, hitting the blade marines. Still on twos. On yep. twos. Six is exposed, so that goes back in. Five hits, twos to wound. Five wounds. AP minus two. AP minus two. Five up saves. He takes out <laughs> two. I'm making the fives right yeah. now. Uh, then and you've got the claw. On the claw with four attacks. Because of wow. Uh, he no, hits three times. three times. And wounds on twos. Oh, I think maybe... Oh. Drop those and count. I think he's up to strength. We need to check his strength because yeah. of wow. Yeah. Yep, he wounds on twos. Five up saves. He kills another one, three dead so far. And then we have the choppy muck chop face with his chopper. He gets four attacks. And he hits on twos. And so that one explodes. Back. And he wounds on fives, fives. though. Yeah. Oh no, plus some strength, wounds on fours. One, not gonna do it. And I make no. that save. So in the end, three. he kill three. I think I'm still defending my stronghold. I think you are. Whether I'm still defending my stronghold at the end of your turn, which is when you want to get it. Because defend stronghold doesn't count now. It counts until the end of the orc turn. Yes. That's true. Anyway, that is the end of Death Guard. Turn three. I am defending. I am spreading out and trying to take as many objectives as I can to secure No Man's Land. And I think I've got all three of them in the center right now. Yep. Which means at the start of orcs turn four... They're only going to pick up five points for that objective down there. But as long as a fight is going on, Orcs are winning. And there's fighting all across this battle, battle grid. So Orcs are winning Yay. everywhere right now. Yay. As we go to Orcs turn four. The Orcs are still seven points in the lead and they want to secure no man's land and get behind the enemy lines. In the Orc movement phase, the unit that was investigating signals and came on late to the party last turn, well, they're busting through the shrubbery finally and making their way into the battle grid. The shooter units, the flash gits, the looters and the mech guns are staying still to provide some power support. And you're not going to be getting secured no man's land at any time soon, jumping onto two objectives. But you have got two units down behind enemy lines. The bikers are already there. And here's the weird boy with his unit who did jumped one more time all the way from the corner over here and flashed and dropped down there. So that is going to be five points for the Orcs. And we're going to start the shooting phase from the weird boy flying, uh, firing at Fluffy in close combat. He's a monster, so you can shoot him, uh, but minus one to hit because he's in close combat. But the headbanger is a four up normally, so five. Okay. Yes! He gets a hit with his head banger. Bang your head. Strength? It's seven now because he's got five models. Toughness of eleven though. Yep. So. Fives again. Oh. Negative. <laughs> Don't Jesus. bang my head against the wall. Right. He's okay. Here are the shooters coming in. These are going to be sixes though. Ooh, there's two, two. hits. I'm toughness eleven. Mm. Six. Again. Hello. They scratch his hide. Nice. They, they don't scratch his hide. He makes a save. There's Big a big shooter. shooter as well. Also sixes. No. Nothing. So um, shots fire into um, combat. Do we um, have to see if you kill any of your war boss here? Because you missed me. I haven't finished shooting yet. I've got a custom, oh. custom shooter from the Nobles with them. Right. I? Also on a six though. No. No. So the shots go <laughs> well. That was proper walkie shooting. So, so far Fluffy is uninjured, but the flash gets can see that monster. So they're going to fire in as well. And they hit on fives, but re-rolling because of Captain Not Bad Rock in there. Captain Jewel Fang. That's quite a nice spread of hits. Fives to wound. Uh, three, three wounds. Minus one. His two up save becomes a three up save. Oh. And he takes two damage. Yep. Yep. You're down to eight wounds. You've yeah. scratched him. If it bleeds, Jewel we fang. can kill it. Jewel Fang with his custom Mega Blaster. Also fives. Re-rolling. Re Overcharging. Of course he is. Of course he is. Two there. Two hits. Strength nine. Fives. Toughness eleven. One. One wound. Two Four plus invulnerable save or D6 damage on my demon prince. <sighs> That's a four plus invulnerable save. I'm alive. <laughs> Hazardous? Hazardous. Nope. Yeah, you haven't had one of them. Oh, you did. You did on the bubble chucker. Yep. That's down to three wounds. Which, but the bubble chucker could it's fire in as well if he wants to. Let's see what sort of shot. It's the anti-infantry one. The anti-infantry shot. Do you really oh. want to fire in? 
D6. Yeah, firing at Fluffy's. The only real viable target. 2d6 shots is six shots. Hitting on five. fives with no help from re-rolls. No, That's one, one hit and you need a five to wound. Yeah. At least it wounds. Uh, minus one again. Yeah. I'm fine. okay. You're doing the looters as well. You're yep. firing everyone at him, aren't yeah, you? Probably. Kill Fluffy. Here's the looters. This is going to be sixes though. It's sixes re-rolling. Yes. Ooh. There's three sixes already. They really don't like that demon. They're yeah. attracted by the smell. They're like, they can hardly miss it because of the stink. That's four. Four hits is good. Fives. Fives to wound. No. No wounds. What about the custom mega the cannon? Custom mega cannon. We'll get D6 six shocks. No, hang on a second. It's the, the loot, the guy embedded in the loot. Oh yeah, the custom mech gun. This That's guy the, on his big... three shots. He three, three shots, shots yeah. Any on sixes. Re-rolling. Nope, and hazardous. <laughs> oh, okay. He dies. His wonderful toy contraction just blew up in his face. <laughs> That's what happens when you keep your finger on the trigger, trying to aim at a demon in the middle of a melee. It's like he forgot to take his finger off. Yep. And the boys, like, boss, boom. Anyway, the mega cannon. He's also going fluffy. D six shots for four shots. This would be fives to hit. You're hitting on Grot. Yep. Oh, hazardous, which could kill him. No. No. Um, you took two wounds off Fluffy, that's the end of the shooting phase. Walk shooting again. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, now we're going to fight. You don't have any charging I do. units. I'm going to try and charge. Oh, you're going to shoot. I, mean, it's, it's a, can I, I need an 11. So, an 11 into the Rhino. Yeah. No. That's a four. That's not an 11 to get to the it's Rhino. Not. I like it though, that would have got you on yeah. that objective. Yeah. Do you want a CP reroll that for an 11? No. <laughs> All right, defenders need to fight first. And, let's see. I'm defending the stronghold. I kind of need to go first here, so. because that's where the points are. And you are going to win. That, even so. yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, even though I really don't want your uh, your orc war boss to hit Fluffy anymore. Yeah. But yeah, I have to start back here defending my stronghold. Right, the wire isn't in effect anymore, so I'm going to spend a CP on Ferric Blight. What that means is the AP of my plague knight. The AP is better by one. Okay, because you normally have a four up which is a five up because of contagions, yep. and this just gets you to your six up and vulnerable saves. Let's see if this works. Plague knives, looking for sixes really. There's a six, and then these will wound on fives. I do two wounds on just your invulnerable saves, sir. One is on one wound remaining. And he gets stabbed in the kneecap and falls off of his bike. He goes down, sir. Three wounds left, I is think. Is he the knob? has got four wounds. Yep. Is he? Yep. On the war bike? Yep. Brilliant. I definitely must mess that up last time I filmed an Orc Battle <laughs> Report with knobs in it on bikes. Uh, here's the heavy plague weapons. Fours. One lethal. Two more hits. These will wound on fives because you're a bit tougher than the average Orc. And they're invulnerable saves or two damage a time. One. He's alive on one wound left. Just the way we like it. Which means you can pile in... Yes. And if you kill enough of the Plague Marines, yeah. let's do the fight back here. Yeah, right. You will stop me defending so, that stronghold. Knob first, only three attacks on four threes. threes. Oh, One hit. Uh, winning on threes. Oh, no. It doesn't wound. Okay, so. The war boss, the war boss on the Death Killer War Trike is going to have to do it. Yeah. And yeah. he's hitting on twos. Explosions. There's wow. an explosion, he hits five times. He wounds on twos. He wounds four times. Four five plus saves. Coming up. There's one five plus save. You wipe out three of them. You pile in and you've got a war trike and a biker, so you've got an OC of five on that objective. He's got an OC of two, and my tank has got an OC of four. Oh, I've got an OC of six. <laughs> I'm still defending my stronghold if he passes a battle shot That's test true. next turn. Uh, do you have to hand it? How are you holding at the end of the turn, though? At the end of this, oh yeah. So you do just do it. You don't need I, the battle shot. I now. will still pass it. Yeah. I will get a point for defending yeah. my stronghold. Yeah. Anyway, um, I would have hit you. Then you would have hit back first over here yes, that was a with your war boss. Yep. Then we'd have come back here. So I'm going to let you hit back with your war boss first. Who do you want to kill? Some more plague marines. I'm going for Fluffy. You're going for Fluffy I'm this going time. For Fluffy. The war isn't in effect. No, nope. he's got his base four attacks. Yep, but I'm going to spend, again, just for fun. Unbridled Carnage? Yeah. 
Fives and sixes. Expl- so you want to see how many wounds you can get on Fluffy yeah. before he gets taken this down. This time, yeah. Twos to hit. Fives and sixes exploded. Please roll loads of fives and sixes. <laughs> well, there you go. That's five hits. Take that one out. Yeah. The thing is, Fluffy's really tough. He's yes, on fives. I know. I'm a demon of Nurgle. And I can't see if you've got two. any. You've got two? two? Yep. Two there. Invulnerable saves coming yes. up. Oh. A fair one. He's got six. He hurts points. Fluffy. He's down to six wounds left. Fluffy's really angry and he picks up his Hellforge sword and he strikes back against. What's your Warbuster's name? Blood Teeth. Blood Teeth. Bad Teeth. Blood Teeth. He punched him in the face to make his teeth bloody. I know the answer. Probably himself because he wanted some money. <laughs> punched himself in the teeth. Now he's got bloody teeth. Two's to hit you. That looks good. That isn't lethal or no. anything. It might be. One minute. It's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, three's to wound because you're a war boss yep. so your toughness is higher. He needs to make three five plus and vulnerable saves. Each of these does three damage. He's right. got two wounds it's left. Not a He's got a super cyborg buddy. Yeah. Oh. He only takes a wound. Well, three wounds. Three wounds. I need three two four ups. four ups. Three would be okay. Oh no, he's failed more. You don't make any four plus. You cut his head off. That's that's not. Captain that's not bothered him before. No, they can stitch it back on. They have the power. They have the yep. technology, which is called super glue, and they can put his head back and on later. Super glue. It's a sad day. An orc war boss has fallen, but it's a good day. Another orc war boss gets a promotion. <laughs> well, until they stitch his head back on. Until they stitch his head back on. You have got behind enemy lines down here with two units, so that would yep. be five points to you, and you were seven points in the lead. Mm. But I am going to pick up three points for defending my stronghold. Then I need to do a battle shock test on this fella. Well, it doesn't matter actually, because even if he fails, I'm on 5, 10, 15 points on yep. the primaries as we go on to Death Guard. Turn four. With those primaries, the Death Guard are finally in the lead at 53 points to 47. And their orders are to extend their battle lines and the overwhelming force kill orcs that dare to be in range of objectives. At the end of my movement phase, I'm extending my battle lines. I'm holding on to this one here, and I've got one in no man's land, so that's five points. An overwhelming force, kill orc units in range of objective markers. Well, the war bikers around here in range of this objective marker. And they're about to get hit by a crawler, a hauler, a haul. There's a lot of shots coming in on these guys, just with their six up invulnerable saves, anti-tank shots. And then the other unit that came behind enemy lines is down here. And they're going to get hit by Fluffy, Plague Marines, Drones, oh my. And then the end of all things unleashed hell into these two units back here and would have killed them 78 times over. They've both <laughs> been entirely wiped out, which means at the end of turn four, it's 61 points to the Death Guard and only 47 points to the Orcs. And they've got this static gunline unit down here holding on to the home objective. Some flash gets and a unit of boys up here, and that's it. And so in turn five for the Orcs, they'd pick up five points on the primary, making it 52 points to 61. They'd be nine points behind. And they don't have the mobility and speed to grab many secondaries. And I'm going to be on four out of five of the objectives, which means in my turn, I'm going to rack up another 15 points on the primary. So at this point, this is the way the world ends. Mr. Bootle is conceding. But it's always fun. The Orcs won. The Orcs won because they fight. So these guys are going to, uh, they're going to foxtrot Oscar off no, the battle grid. One of the, the grunts we're going to go and get, pick up the head. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's an attack squig. He's like, fetch. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe the squig will just bring it. Go and get the head back of uh, your war boss. But yeah, the Orcs are deciding that uh, this battle grid is far too smelly for them. That they never liked this part of the swamp anyway. Uh, the war boss is gone. The second in command is gone. So about five miles to the left, they're going to pick up, build up their own new swamp in their own stuff. And they're going to talk about this day forevermore because they had a fight. They won, right? Yeah. It's like, I'm the war boss now. No, I'm the war boss. Did you see that? Blood Teeth's head spends more time off his shoulders than on it these days. Yeah. So it's fine. Like these guys didn't take a casualty. No. The Flash gets, they shot loads of stuff. Yeah. Did you see that fight we won, lads? That was great. We, we destroyed. We caused him. all the damage to our own troops. There, you yeah. didn't hurt us at all. Yeah. So basically, there were there were, no, there were no casualties. So at sixty-one points for the Death Guard and forty-seven points for the Orcs, it is definitely an Orc victory. <laughs>
Battle Matters from UrbanMatters.com. This lovely orky terrain in the middle of the table it is from Cromlec.eu. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, become a channel member, all that kind of jazz. If you've made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Do something better with your life. Go out. You could, <laughs> you're watching videos on your phone. You should be out like there's other hobbies like skydiving or mountaineering or deep sea fishing or something a lot more meaningful. Charity work, you could be out there feeding the homeless, you could be building mud huts in impoverished countries like Wales. <laughs> uh, but instead you're watching Bat Reports here with me. So I appreciate you, thank you for for coming this far. Mr Poodle, shout out some things. Um, so yeah, we've got the Waffboot Chronicles blog and I'm on Instagram at uh, Waffboot underscore Poodle. Can you write a comment in the video description so I can yes. pin it? Yes. And then when you've done that, can you remind me that you've wrote a comment in the video <laughs> so I can pin it so people can see that? Will so do. if you've made it to the end, check the pins. Um, say hello to Stylus. <laughs> hello, Stylus. <laughs> Why are we saying hello to Stylus? <laughs> hello, hello. You've hello, known him for a very long time. You know where the bodies are buried. I, I, I don't know anything about bodies, but all I know is that he borrowed my wood chipper once and broke it. And I... Did he? <laughs> You know, in the evil in the evil masterminds of the world, right? Are you the Batman and he's the Robin? Or are you the Robin and he's the... How, how does um, it work? He's, he's Batman and I'm, I'm Spider-Man. Different universes. Ah, okay. Yeah. I see. We don't want to compete with each other. No, no, no. Because then they would just... Yeah. There'd be bodies everywhere. There'd be bodies everywhere. Uh, yeah, so check out those links and things. You are Woof Boot Bootle in the Discord and things. Yeah. You are in the Discord? I am, yes. You are in yes. the Discord. <laughs> I am a member. The dice. Email me, winners 40 k at gmail.com. Uh, be kind, be nice to everyone. As E.T. said, be good. And as Bill and Ted said, be excellent to each other. Happy Wargaming.